I'm not sure if I uh, posted any updates. I, I have this uh, cover off right now because I'm trying to get the coil mounted. Uh, so that's the only reason that cover's off right now. It's just sitting over here uh, on, the, on the table. But uh, yeah, I got the uh, Wisconsin in and we were trying to get it started on a new coil before I actually installed the coil. Um, but unfortunately, I'm getting ready to show you all the coils and hopefully you guys can help me out here. So Bobcat M610, it stood still for quite some time and uh, finally starting to get a little work done on it. Dad picked a bucket up for me yesterday or maybe two days ago. Um, so I should have a bucket here Tuesday. I think Dad's coming down Tuesday. So we'll have a bucket here. Um, now I just need to get a lift cylinder. I got a, a bent lift cylinder, but other than that, we're ready to go. All right, guys, I know that uh, I got a lot of tractor guys and Bobcat guys that are uh, checking out my videos. Man, I got a question here. Not sure uh, what's going on. So I got three coils here. This is the original coil, the one that was in the Bobcat when I bought it. This is a coil that my brother-in-law gave me. And this is a brand new high energy standard, I believe is, uh, nope, all the other stuff was standard. That's why I thought it was standard. But this is a high energy UC15 E502 ignition coil. So here's the problem. I put the brand new coil on, she won't even sputter. I put the old coil on, she'll start and run. I don't want to put the old coil back in the machine because, and I don't have it turned the right way, she is split down the side in two spots. And I know if I put her on there, she'll get moisture in her. I was going to wrap her with electrical tape, but I thought, nah, I don't want to do that. I'm putting all the money into... Uh, points, condenser, rotor, cap. So I want to get a new coil. Brother-in-law's coil. Don't know if it was new or not. That's why I wasn't sure if it was a, a new issue. Will not start on that coil. And as you can see, those two coils are pretty much the same. This coil is a lot shorter. Let's see if I can get a view of that. So, if anybody has any advice on coils. Now, I will tell you this. I checked the ohms. I don't have those written down. What I will do is I'll test them right now. I'll write them down and uh, see where we can go with it. Maybe that'll it'll help me figure out what I got here. But, uh, yeah, if you guys could help me out, sure would appreciate it. Because right now, I'm confused. I'll be back. I'll tell you what the uh, ohms are on the uh, primary and the secondary on all three of these. All right, guys. So I just uh, tested the ohms. And what I'm considering the primary would be from the positive to the negative. Same way here. Positive to negative. Positive to negative. That's what I'm calling the primary. So if I'm not saying that right, please correct me on that in the, in the comments below. The secondary is from either the negative to the center or positive to the center on all of them. So here's what we got. On the primary, I got 1.4 ohms. On the secondary, I have 8.95 ohms. On the original coil, I have 3.6 ohms and that is on primary I'm pointing to the center 3.6 ohms to the primary 14.44 to the secondary and on the brand new one I have 2.9 ohms on primary and 6.33 on secondary and I have those numbers just jotted down here So, if you guys can help me out, brand new, the one that was on the Bobcat, one that my brother-in-law gave me, will not sputter, 
runs like a champ, will not sputter. Help me out, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and uh, click on that button down there on the corner. And